Oh, it smells so good. I love this smell of Time for the next adventure. Let's go. I'm a Canadian girl living my life out of a suitcase and currently I'm traveling in Southeast Asia in Malaysia. And I know the stereotypes about foreigners not enjoying durian, but let me tell you, this Canadian girl right here loves Durian, I fell in love with it here in Malaysia. This country is known for having some of the best durian, so I am in the right place. Today I met Jalan Alor in Kuala Lumpur, which is the country's capital city. And we are going to feast on some durian, and I'm trying three kinds that I've never tried before. Actually, kind of four, you'll see in a minute. Jalan Alor is a famous food street in Kuala Lumpur in the heart of the city. It's located in the Bukit Bintang area and it is a must stop if you're visiting the city. It's a lively area, hustling bustling, and you can even see the hawker stalls preparing the food in front of you, so it's a really cool experience. The setup is a combination of open-aired hawker stalls as well as covered restaurants. Malaysia is known for having some of the best street food in the world. And this place is a must-stop for any foodie at heart. It has something for everyone. I was just in awe with all the different options, and it's so colorful and vibrant, and the smell is so good. How does one choose? For real, there's so many things I wanted to try here, but I kind of came on a mission. I'm actually looking for a specific stall today. We're going to try the notorious, the iconic, the delicious... That's actually going to have to remain a secret until I actually shoot the video because out of all the stalls to be closed today, that stall was closed. So I'll have to come back another time. Oh my god. So it was not meant to be. Um, they're closed today. Yesterday they were open. Um, yeah, so mm, I guess uh, this video is going to be something different. <laughs> It was supposed to be open, so clearly it was not meant to be today, but just as the Wheel of Fortune is always turning, sometimes life takes us in a new direction that is actually a twist of fate. It's difficult because it smells so good. All I smell is durian everywhere, and there's all these snacks and interesting things. It's a bit hard for me to choose here because I literally want to eat everything. Everything just looks so appetizing, so delicious everything is drawing me in but they do say that sometimes the answer is right under your nose <laughs> and i can definitely say that's true in this case today oh my god it smells so good oh my okay today's the day i found the black thorn and some other ones that i've never tried and i'm stoked Thank you very much. All right, so she suggested that I eat them in this order to get the best flavor. So this one is the most bitter and these two are both sweet, but this one has a little bit less flavor and this one has more flavor. So let's see. All right, I was not planning to taste these today, but universe had it this way and I am so hot by the way it's like really hot here Ooh, forgot Malaysia okay so I'm really excited I think I got too much because I can't even take it back to my hotel but now's my chance <laughs> finally today we're going to taste the notorious blackthorn and then two of the flavors that I've never even heard of so this is the D24 it's called D24 because of its registration, but it's actually known as Sultan's Durian. Reason being because notoriously this tree is low producing, so it was reserved only for Malaysian royalty. So it became to be known as Sultan's Durian. So I figure, hey, this one's perfect for a princess. Okay. Get in there, let's see. Oh, it smells so good. I love the smell of durian. I remember I did not like it at first, and now I'm like, the snows can sniff the durian from anywhere. Okay, so awesome for smell. It smells kind of like Bali local durian. It's like, mm, kind of, mm, sort of pungent, but not too much. Okay, everyone's staring at me. <laughs> but you guys get the full video. <laughs> Mm. Oh man, that's good. Okay, I get what she's saying. It's not as sweet 
as the other ones. It's kind of got almost a little bit of like a chalky taste. Like you know when you mm, your mouth feels like it dries out after. Mm. But it's still really delicious. Creamy. It's still, it's still got a little bit of sweetness, but it's more like, I think the bitterness is that it like sucks the flavor out of your mouth. So, so it feels like, yeah, not that, not as much the lingering flavor. This is probably good if you haven't really tried durian as much because the pungency is not as like lingering and it's or as big as some other durians. Okay, next we got the red prawn. Named after a shrimp, I had to look up and see why this durian was called red prawn. I mean, is it going to taste fishy? But it turns out it's just because of how it looks. And you know what? I kind of see it. Little shrimpies there. <laughs> Do you see it? Which is new to me. Totally new. Rip this bad boy open. Oh, it's a different smell. A bit different than the other smell. I'm like in the durian zone right now. Oh, it's like, how can I describe it? It's not as pungent, that's for sure. But like, look at this texture. Whoa, that is like, like look how creamy that is. Mmm. Mmm. This one is um, way more fruity than the other one. <laughs> mm. Mm. Does this go in there? Oh, okay. Yeah, so this one's more fruity. This one feels a bit more ripe than the other one, so I don't know if it's that's like normally how the texture differs or if it's just more ripe than the fruit right now. Overall, mm. more flirty. flirty. Am I getting drunk off this durian? I heard that's a thing. Way more fruity flavor than the other ones. Mm. 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 <laughs> okay. Now for the. De resistance. Black thorn. Finally. And finally we meet. <laughs> Okay. Again, if you're wondering why it's called Blackthorn, it got its name from its appearance. It's known to have a bit more of a rounder, flatter shape, as well as a little thorn at the bottom. It literally looks like a stray little chin hair. <laughs> Blackthorn. Okay, so this one is um, definitely more red color than, than the D24, like way different color. Um, and a little bit more red than the um, red prawn as well. Um, so the color is different, definitely very creamy in texture. Oh yeah, it's a lot more um, way pungent, way, way pungent. Almost like spicy smell. Like instead of the sweet note, it's like a spicy note. It's interesting. Yeah, let's see. It does not taste how it smells. It has this almost like I'm getting almost like a cucumber taste from it. So it smells kind of spicy, very pungent, but the flavor is almost like a watermelony, cucumbery. It is sweet. Um, mm, mm. It's not my favorite. I don't know if it's because I had like the expectations like up to here. Obviously it's still good. It's durian, the king of fruit. They call it the king of fruit for a reason. Or wait, is that only Moussin King? Anyway, yeah, I think my expectations were like up here. So now eating it, I'm like, oh, that's it? I don't know, I thought there was gonna be some like durian magic happen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's try them all again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, D24. 
24. Yeah, this one. Um, compared after having these other ones that are a lot more flavorful, this one just like is very subtle subtle in flavor it just kind of like it doesn't have that lingering pungency or lingering sweetness that the other ones have this one just kind of like evaporates out of your mouth mm. still good though mm. and then this is the red tron way fruitier a little bit more pungency and then Blackthorn. Yeah, I definitely have that like watermelony, cucumbery flavor, which is so different than any other durian I've had. I love how each durian um, varietal has like a completely different flavor. They're all kind of the same texture. They look a little different in terms of color and things like that, but the flavors are quite different. I think I can eat this all. Is that a lot? Is it bad to have durian for dinner? <laughs> now I've tried four different kinds of durian in total. I also tried the local valley as well as the um, Musang King. I'd have to say my favorite's the Musang King. It's just got that like really rich durian flavor. And I do love that like kind of pungent pungency that it has. It's just so unique. Like the pungency with the creaminess of the texture and the sweetness. Mm. Mm. If people can't see that I have you guys in front of me here, they probably think I'm just sitting here talking to myself. Party time! I'm kind of getting full. Mm. But I have to finish it because I can't take it back to my room. This one does have kind of more of that like garlicky, um, kind of onion-y flavor, like the savory flavor. Because mm. it's not overpowered by the sweetness. Oh my gosh, I think I ate them all. It was so hot, my phone stopped filming. But hey, I did finish it all and it was delicious. My phone just died, it's so hot, like look at my cheeks. <laughs> you can see it through the filters. <laughs> I'm gonna roll out of here, but I have to something else I really want to try. <laughs> I've been eyeing it as I've been walking up and down the street. Is it possible to just get one piece of durian? No, one piece of four ringgit, three pieces of ten ringgit. You know what it is? I just ate like a bunch of durian. Um, I just want one piece of durian. Yeah, I got it. I really don't need it, but I only got one piece. I could have gotten three. Deep fried durian. I didn't know it was a thing. But today is an all durian thing. I'm going to turn into a durian. Mmm, it smells like a donut. So I'm not sure if this is like a filling or if the durian has just melted in the cooking process. Mm. really good it's definitely just a piece of durian it's really good because it's, it's kind of greasy but then it's like sweet and then it's also kind of like mm, savory it's kind of savory it's got like that pungent flavor it's really good dessert <laughs> yeah it's definitely just a piece of durian Mm. but it melts almost like into a custard mm. Mm. Uh, that durian dinner was dinner fit for a princess thanks for coming along <laughs> like the lot that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Until next time.